So hi man, you Bitcoin day traders, welcome back to another video of the Bitcoin day trader channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to recover your lost passwords using the BTC recover program. I tried open my wallet because I had to pay my rent and I couldn't, I forgot my password. And so I asked my hacker friend, hey man, you kind of in this hacking world, can you teach me how to open my wallet? And he was like, well sure I can. I was like, okay, how are you supposed to do that? And he sent me this link to this program and it was called BTC recovery. So he sent me this link to GitHub and GitHub Hub is a place where open source programs are shared and as you can see it's it's kind of intimidating at first but it's free to download once you download it you can't do squat with it because you don't know how to open it and so I'm gonna teach you it is a special wallet password recovery for a lot of different wallets so you can check here it's for instance for uh, Bitcoin unlimited classic XT and Core for Multibit HD and Multibit Classic and I use Multibit Classic so I'm gonna teach you using the Multibit Classic and you can use it on Electrum, you could use it on all kinds of wallet I have used it on my Android phone wallet so this is my Android wallet, It's not much in it but I've used it to regain uh, access to that wallet you can use this program, the BTC recovery program for all kinds of problems you have with Bitcoin it's not easy and it's same time it's not that hard because you don't have to write the program yourself it's already written what do you need to open this program you need to run Python Python 2.7 so it's specific Python we need Python 2.7 and we can find a release here at python.org slash download slash release slash 2.7 slash for instance you have a 64-bit computer you click on this one you download it you open it you install it it's not that hard if you open Python you will be like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? I can type, I can press enter, it does nothing. We want to use Python. So I'm going to teach you how to use Python. We are going to split this tutorial in three parts. First part will be the preparation, the installation of the necessary things to actually brute force your wallets. And the second part will be to set up our brute force for the wallet, depending whatever you still remember. And the third part would be actually running the brute force. Just be sure to, whenever you decrypt any part of Bitcoin to open a wallet, be sure to just send your funds to another account which you have total control of. Just to be safe, because you don't want to lose your money. And now we're going to run Python 2.7 using the command prompt. It's pretty easy to open it. You just click your start and you write in CMD and you will see a program cmd.exe. And, and it's an executable file and then you get this black screen of hackers. It usually opens at Windows slash System32. We need to go to our hard drive or C. One of the ways would be just to say CD dot dot enter, CD dot dot enter and then you're back at C as you can see on the screen right here. And we need to open the directory of Python 2.7. We're going to change our directory CD to the directory of Python 27. As you can see we're now at the directory of Python 27. What we need to do is we need to install some things for Python because the program that we downloaded, the BTC recovery, needs some installations on your Python as well. So Python needs to be updated. So how are we going to do that? We're back at the Python directory. We can check out the directory what's in it. So if you type in dir for directory you can watch what's in it and we need to go to the scripts so we change directory space scripts and it is capital dependent so we're at scripts and what is in scripts we got the pip install so we need to pip install stuff the way to pip install would be to write pip space install space and then the program you want to install for instance pi crypto enter you wait and I'm probably gonna get a error because I already installed it so now it's what, what is requirement already satisfied you see you guys what it did was trying to pip install I, I I don't know exactly what a pip install is but it means that it will install it for you on Python we also need to pip install pi lip script no it, it was a wrong one I didn't write it the right way because I used a capital P so like I said capital dependent stuff you can just arrow up go back P and I made a mistake I wrote it with an I and it's supposed to be with a Y okay requirement already satisfied 
and the last thing we need was the Google protocol buffer and that will be up pip install proto buff enter collecting proto buff what oh, I did <laughs> actually wrote down proto but but it's not a proto but it's a proto buff and requirement already satisfied as you can see so these are the three things you need to install before we can even start to try and open our wallets so right now we are done with the preparation to open our old Bitcoin wallets thank you all for watching hope to see you guys pretty soon in my new video see you guys next time